Hey, welcome back. This is Steve with Green Tunes Performance. Uh, this morning, uh, I want to show you exactly why I put in a scrubber slash bubbler. Uh, see this fluid right here? Uh, that came from the uh, electrolyzer reservoir, the electrolyte reservoir. Um, I've only driven a few miles uh, with the system uh, filled up to here. And uh, I'm pretty sure this is getting in the line from uh, the reservoir sloshing. So I plan on putting something in there to control sloshing. I don't know exactly what I'm going to use at this point, but I want to figure out some sort of a material to put in there um, to control the sloshing. But here's a significant amount of fluid. Uh, from the electrolyte reservoir. The system has not been ran over 80 degrees uh, Fahrenheit um, since this current uh, setup has been installed. The only time I ever ran it over 80 was when I first put it on and it was hotter out. Right now it's so so cold out um, you simply can't get it over uh, 80 degrees um, no matter how hard I run it so I just want to show people why they would want a scrubber slash bubbler um, in their system so that this fluid does not have a chance to make it into your engine a lot of your engine components are made out of aluminum and if you read the dangers or the precautions on potassium hydroxide or uh, sodium hydroxide whichever one you happen to use. I'm using potassium hydroxide and it says it destroys aluminum it has a chemical reaction with aluminum so you do not want this in your engine. So I recommend you put on a safety bubbler unless you like replacing engines. So there you go. Fair warning. <laughs> 